Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today I'm super pumped to give you this because I think a lot of you guys have been asking questions about that and this is how I get a 90% success rate on my Instagram influencer ads. I've had a lot of you guys reach out, which is awesome, you guys are DMing me on Instagram, whatever, um, asking about why a certain ad that you're doing is not working or why a page isn't working, things like that. So. I'm gonna cover it in this video. I know I've done some basic ones before, but I wanna dive super in depth in terms of why my ads actually work. So there's basically three things that go into making a successful ad that actually makes sales. Number one, you obviously need to have a product that is selling that's very good that also matches perfectly with a certain audience, okay? If there's anything wrong with the product or anything wrong with the audience um, in terms of like a disconnect and it's not connecting and it's not a total fit, then you're probably not gonna make any sales. Number two is that you have to have a really legitimately good page, okay? So I've done videos in the past about how to find pages, but I'm gonna go more in depth um, in terms of finding them in this video, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you don't have a good page, then you're just gonna get scammed out of your money and you don't wanna do that. So um, basically what I usually try to do is try to start small between the 100,000 to maybe 300,000 range. That means you're only spending 10 to $30. I usually don't like to spend more than maybe 40 on the high end when I'm testing because I don't really wanna lose $40 for no reason if it's not gonna work, right? I'd rather lose 20 if I'm gonna lose anything. So uh, make sure to start small and then scale up to the bigger pages in the future, okay? And number three is that your site has to be set up uh, very well and there has to be you know different conversion tactics that you can use, which we'll talk about uh, in future videos and I have talked about before. So if you want to check out any of this information, go ahead and check out the previous video. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Nash Hagen on Instagram post some dope photos every once in a while that you should uh, definitely check out. But besides the point, let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do when you're uh, you know, obviously building a store and trying to make some sales, doing ads, you're gonna need to have a product. So I just did a quick little search and I found this product here, which has, as you can see, tons of orders, 30,800 orders. Now, I actually found out in the last like two weeks or something, maybe two weeks ago, that this 30,879 is actually not total orders that's the amount of orders in the last 30 days. So, you know, that just shows you that this product is absolutely moving, it's huge. And probably also huge because it's like uh, the time for New Year's re resolutions, tons of people are going to the gym because it's the new year, all this different kinds of stuff. So uh, I'm not currently selling this product. So if you want to jump on, go ahead and do it. This is obviously a winning product. Um, but as you can see, $8. One thing that I like to look at when I'm looking at products is obviously the order count, but also uh, if we scroll down past all these photos, uh, here, where you see transaction history. What I like to see on this is that people is that it's making tons of orders or tons of sales every single day and that people are buying more than one, okay? So what you can look at is, uh, you know, 18th of January here, I like to see at least one page full of the same day. And today is obviously the 18th of January. So let's go to page two, okay, you see still 18th of January, three, 18th of January, for 18th of January, and then here you see this person D whatever from the U.S. has bought, uh, you know, five different units today, um, at least. Actually, more. Here, here you got more of them. Uh, still on the 18th. Still on the 18th. Still on the 18th. So as you can see, this product we're on page 10, and there's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight times 10. That's at least 80 units sold today. Uh, we could probably go on. Let's see, page 13. Still. Okay, so over 100 units sold today on this product. That means that it's a hot selling product that people want this thing, okay? So now that we've identified a product that's hot, that's moving, that's not, it wasn't hot last year, it's hot right now, okay? Now that we've identified that, what we can do is then jump into Instagram and figure out who's gonna actually buy this. So uh, before we do that, let's just kind of brainstorm. Who do we think is going to actually purchase something like this? This is an, an ad stimulator. Uh, I guess it's supposed to you know, help you get a six pack or whatever by tightening your abs or whatever with, with this remote. I'm, I'm not exactly sure, I have to do some more research. But based on preliminary, uh, you know, just looking at it, what kind of people would we think would actually purchase this? Well, uh, to me, people that wanna lose weight maybe, uh, people that go to the gym, people that wanna get a six pack, those types of people. So with that in mind, we have to now transition over to Instagram and think of what kind of pages. So let's just type in something generic like 
uh, weight loss, okay? Let's just see what we got. So weight loss transformation, let's just click on the first one. So the first thing that I look at obviously is the amount of followers. So like I said, I for the beginning, I'd like to keep it between 100 and 300,000 because you're gonna spend less. The second thing you're gonna look at is the engagement rate, which you can find by going to this website called Flanks. Okay, so if we type in Flanks and then go to Platform Engagement Calculator, that'll bring up this, this little thing here. So what we can do is we can jump in here and just copy, uh, let's see, copy this and paste it over here, get rid of the follow, don't know why that was there. And let's see, as you can see, like 1% engagement, which isn't good. I usually like to go with at least, well, depending on the size of the page, if it's a big page, like I'm talking close to a million plus, I'm looking for about one and a half plus uh, engagement. If it's something smaller, like this is 500,000, anything below that, I'm looking for at least like a 3% engagement. If it's not at, well, maybe two and a half, depending on the page. But if it's a not, not at least two and a half to 3% engagement, I'm just not touching it. So one easy way you can do that is literally just like scrolling over these and you can see 529,000. If it's not getting at least like 5,000 likes, uh, which these aren't, um, you know, then, it's probably not the most ideal page, which to me, I mean, some of them you can see like 8,000, whatever. To me, this is it's just too inconsistent of a page to go with. So they would probably charge between, I would say 40 to $60 for this page. So for me, that's just not worth it, okay? So the second thing, uh, so we're just gonna go back. Let's see, uh, weight loss, fat loss, 213. So this is more in our range of things that we could possibly go for. Uh, but does still, again, does not have great engagement, as you can see, 2,000, uh, okay. So let's keep going. Uh, fat loss inspiration, maybe? Okay, so this is, has 135, so that's not the biggest, but let's see. It looks like it's getting pretty decent engagement in terms of likes, uh, 6,000, so that's like, so let's plug this into flanks. Uh, copy that and paste it, okay. So this page, yeah, so 5% engagement rate. So now that we found one that has good engagement rate, the second thing that I like to do is pull up this website called Social Blade um, that you can find here by just typing into Google. Okay, and we're gonna switch this to Instagram. I'm gonna paste that in there, and let's take a look at the stats. So. What you usually like to see is a straight line, or you know, pretty, pretty fairly straight line here. Uh, it doesn't look like anything crazy is going on. Uh, it looks like they may sometimes pages hit, hit like feature pages or uh, what's it called the explore page, so they end up getting you know uh, starting to grow. But this page is still growing, as you can see. Uh, they're averaging about 280 followers per day. It's pretty consistent. Um, so this would be a page that I could potentially look more into. Now, after looking at the engagement and the, uh, you know, the following and making sure that that's legit, the third thing that I like to look at, and I only look at this if, the, if it passed the first two tests, is the comments. So let's look at the comments here. So let's just pick this one. Okay, so 61 comments. First of all, I'm looking for legitimate comments, not things that look scammy like, uh, you know, wow, cool, lots of, you know, random emojis, stuff like that. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people tagging friends. I'm looking for people, uh, you know, maybe giving words of encouragement. Uh, if it's a product, maybe saying like, where can I buy this, things like that. That's another thing that you're looking for in pages is if they're doing advertisements. If you see advertisements on it already, that means that it's probably, uh, you know, it's probably at least making some sales because people wouldn't advertise it, you know, beforehand, right? So this one didn't look like it had any advertisements, I don't think. Um, no, but let's just look at the comments anyways. So, uh, bravo, how long did it take you, strong man? Okay, not feeling the hair. So these look pretty legitimate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just open up like 10 of these and take a look at these profiles. So let's just do that real quick. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is for a few reasons. Um, whoops, okay. Uh, for a few reasons, number one is to make sure that they're not just bigger pages that are commenting on on it, you know, just trying to get more engagement for their own stuff. And secondly, I'm wanting to make sure that they're not like little kids, which I'm pretty sure in the fat loss uh, niche, they're not going to be. 
But if you're in like the dog niche, the cat niche, there's lots of like little 12 year old people that are definitely not going to, um, oh, I got my brother drop shipping, so he's asking questions, but um, they're, they're definitely not gonna be able to buy, so they're gonna have to ask their parents, that's a whole nother loophole that you have to jump through. So uh, just not a good situation. So let's go ahead and look at these. Uh, this person, not quite sure who they are. Uh, this person looks old enough. Uh, so like this would be an example. This girl looks like she's maybe like 16, something like that. So uh, she may have the money to spend on it, but you know, not our target audience. Uh, not sure. This dude, okay. Uh, not sure. So lots of like generic profiles it's looking like. Um, let's open up some more just to see. Okay, so this girl could be target audience. This girl probably would be, it looks like she's a little bit older, so. Yeah, so you get the idea. That's the basic concept of what we would do going out. So this would be a page that I potentially want to test with this product um, because you could probably get it for maybe like 12 to $15, I would imagine. You could probably negotiate them down. And you know, worst case scenario, you're out 10, 15 bucks, whatever. But if you make a sale, you could probably make some decent money, which leads into now that we have found a product. Uh, let's see, how do I? Okay, never mind. Now that I've found a product, how do I actually figure out how much I want to sell it for? Uh, I know a lot of you guys might be doing free plus shipping, which is fine. It works. I do it um, on occasion, depending on the product. But uh, yeah, so how do we actually find how much we should be charging for this? Well, an easy thing that you can do is literally just find the name of the product. So uh, wireless muscle stimulator. Okay, so let's remember that and go into Google and you can type in the type in this code. So it's site colon my Shopify dot com and then we're gonna put in quote um, what was it abs stimulator okay and here you go so uh, eBay is selling it for $7.99 which was what the other one was but let's open up these fantastic grab foxy forever um, so I usually like to just open up you know like five or six of them just to get a, a general vibe for how much I should actually charge for the product. So let's see, looks like they're selling it for 35. Okay, so I have good margins. Um, 35, 54, these guys are selling for a lot, okay. Uh, 28, 49, so 50 again. And let's see, the last one is 24. So it seems like the general vibe is around 30 to 35 dollars that we should be spending some people are, are selling on the high end not sure if they're actually selling those so to be safe to actually you know maintain our margins what i would do is i would actually uh take this product which we can get for eight dollars apparently we can sell it for 35 and i would give them a little discount so say like 20 percent discount um you know for them only and i would give that so ultimately your profit margin is going to be huge on this you're, you're going to be making like what 60 percent or something off of each sale which is awesome for a product like this it, it leaves tons of room for um you know for the profit so now that we have that idea we can start building an ad which i've done videos on you can check that out um if you want me to do more i could but uh, i have made videos on that in the past so let's do one more example of how to find an actual page so let's uh so we did fat loss let's do like gym okay so gym let's see gym memes official let's just go here okay so 1.6 million followers. So this is a pretty big page. I wouldn't test it on this page immediately um, because you're probably gonna be spending like 100, 200 bucks on this page. So what I would do again would be starting with the 100 to 300,000 range. But um, let's just go for, for the sake of example, let's just you know check out what we got here. So uh, let's see, so 9,000, 21, 22, 15, 20, 20. So it's looking like it's decent engagement, let's see. Um, also, it's getting a lot of comments, which is another good thing. Uh, you can see like, you know, 927, let's see, uh, 767 for, okay, so it's getting a lot. I think the reason this one is bad is, uh, yeah, so this is, I think this is an ad here, um, which is another good thing. Okay, so it has an ad, uh, and we can see what people are saying. So Amazing Apparel, get these from Kate, why I almost think this is for you. Um, so it looks like a lot of people are wanting to, or are at least interested in this product, which is good. Um, and if we wanted to, we could totally, uh, you know, kind of look at this page. But actually, let's do it. Why not? Um, do you even? Okay. And we could even go to their website and see what they're doing. 
Um, so it looks like this. So, so a lot of uh, athletic apparel type of stuff, which is cool. Uh, not necessarily our niche audience, so that's fine. But um, let's see, let's, let's go back to where we were. Okay, so let's pick one of these. So like, say say this one. Um, so random. Okay, so let's just open up some of these pages. Um, and see what we did. So it, it looks like they're obviously you know legit. So we're gonna open up these pages and let's see what we get. So this person looks like maybe early 20s, that's good. Um, she's a little bit older, older. Um, and by older, I, I mean like older than 12. <laughs> and uh, you know, this guy's obviously into lifting weights. So this would be our tar target audience. So this would be a, a great page to scale on, not necessarily test because they're gonna you know, charge more for it. But once you've you know, tested the product on certain pages and you figure out what price point works for you, then you can definitely jump into pages like this and be able to uh, you know, actually go ahead and make some sales. So basically to wrap it up, uh, you, know, you have your product, go ahead and check it out on Flanks and Social Blade, which is this one. And then once you do that, uh, you're going to want to uh, you know, look at the comments in depth, make sure that people are legitimate, that they're not like fake accounts, and also that, um, that they're actually interested in, in the product, right? And there's lots of engagement. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and hit a massive like on this video, uh, you know, it helps me out a lot. It helps other people that uh, are possibly interested in this be able to see the video through SEO and all that jazz. So if you like it, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and if it helped you out, or if you have any ideas for a video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I will definitely check it out and hopefully be able to make some videos that are, uh, you know, very useful for you guys. So again, hopefully it helped you out and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning.